Hey guys, this is Ricky Rod, and I'm going to show you how to drum edit in, or at least how I drum edit in Pro Tools 12.7 using Elastic Pro Audio. So here we go. All right, so here's our wonderful drum tracks. Let's listen to them real fast. All right, they're pretty dead on but uh, we can tighten them up a little bit. You can see here in the waveform. So uh, the way I like to do it in Pro Tools is to group track, just uh, you know, group your drums together here. And we use, um, I don't use Beat Detective. I prefer um, using the Elastic Audio. So once you have your drums grouped together, come over here select polyphonic so you have polyphonic rhythmic monophonic various speed x form um, i just use polyphonic all right takes a few uh, seconds here for it to do its processing so while we're while it's doing that i can show you the different views so when you do this you have the warp view and the analysis view okay uh, what we're going to do is go to the analysis view and what you're going to see see these little lines these markers right so what we're going to do is go to clip go to elastic properties it says we got seven clips selected and then we're going to do event sensitivity okay so the idea of this is to get them pretty much where there's always a hit there you see you see where the the white lines are there so we'll, we'll just go with that, okay? Just for, for, just for quick sake, all right? So then once you do that, you're gonna want to go to event operations, go to quantize, or quantize, excuse me, and then set your grid mode, I'd, I always just do, or the quantize grid, I always just do 16 notes. Normally, elastic audio events, hit apply, and boom, you're set to go it just scooted it over so if you go into warp view this is where you're going to do your editing so here we go notice the hits are dead on perfect right so of course if you don't have access to an amazing drummer or if you're playing the drums or if I would be playing the drums I would be all over the place so if we had to edit uh, it's very simple you come up here use your smart tool and basically you can just pick you can use what I'm using is option or alt on my Apple keyboard but you can delete you can add you can do you can basically do whatever you need to do to uh, to manipulate or move a marker okay I just know all the hotkeys so I'm gonna delete that add one right I'm in grid mode so if you go into slip mode here you can just move that kick drum wherever it needs to be and there you go so for example, see if we can find a kick that doesn't exactly match up. And I don't think we're going to because my drummer is just that solid. But just say hypothetically that this kick drum right here doesn't line up with that snare. For it just quantizes it, quantizes it weird. Excuse me. I knew I was gonna mess that up. I do this live, so just bear with me. So suspend all groups. And then we're going to do the same thing. We're going to be using our smart tool here. And then you can just select the kick drum pattern there or the, the hit and just move it around. You can use it in slip mode and move it wherever you want to go. So that's how I edit drums. So once we're done, hypothetically say I went through all these, everything's perfect. You want to commit it, right? All you got to do is go back into make sure to activate your groups. Come over here, hit none. Then you have your options to commit it. And you're going to commit this to disk. So we're going to commit it. Give it a few seconds. Basically what this does is it says, all right, you're done editing. 
and we're going to put this into, we're going to make this perfect. See where it says poly there, right here. So there you go. Edited drums in Pro Tools using Elastic Audio. Now you can do this uh, in theory with any instrument. I do this a lot with tambourines, shakers, percussion instruments, um, loops, um, anything. Anything you can uh, basically change that in here and be a little bit more aggressive. Um, however, my experience with acoustic instruments has been iffy at best. Uh, sometimes I've been able to, to get some acoustic guitars to edit well using it. Because, um, I mean, you have options here when you go into this mode. Um, you know, you, you've got things to play with here. See? you got things to play with there. So, and you could do that. Um, and that's typically what I end up doing. I'll end up manipulating it, working with it. Sometimes with acoustic instruments, you say if you've got one bar of an acoustic guitar, really you just want the top of that bar to line up and then maybe the rest of it be uh, a little bit more natural. It's up to you. It just depends on how perfect you want it. I do know on DI guitars, Elastic Audio does work well. And uh, I do edit electric guitars that way a lot. So, but anyway, this is the way I edit in Pro Tools. You can do this on loops. You can do this, uh, again, you can do this on any acoustic instrument. Um, I still think the algorithms in Studio One Pro are better for this. Um, I will say that, at least on my computer, Pro Tools tends to, the computer tends to run nicer with Pro Tools when I do this than it does in Studio One Pro. I've got a 12-core Mac Pro, a late 2012 model, and I've noticed I have to set the block range higher on Studio One Pro when I go and do this versus in uh, Pro Tools. I think I'm, I'm using my Apollo right now, and I've got the buffer set super low, and there's, you know, it's not really struggling to do anything. Um, so I think the way the audio engines do this are differently and the way they approach it's differently you can tell by just working in the software but overall i think i prefer studio one pro over this um as far as editing drums and pretty much anything it's just it seems to to warp it better but anyway that's it guys if you have any questions hit a like dislike all that good stuff comment uh do your thing man god bless